Corey Ampey with the Midwest Orthopedic Specialty Hospital and we are here at the brand new Wellness Village at Ballpark Commons in Franklin, Wisconsin and we are going to speak with Allison Hawking who is the athletic trainer for the Milwaukee Milkmen and today we're going to talk about training in the off season. And so I wanted to talk to Allison a little bit to get to know her and find out more about her job because Let's face it, she's got a really cool job. So, Allison, can you tell us a little bit about what brought you to the Milkman and what yeah. your background is? Yeah, so I actually grew up in Burlington, Wisconsin, so I'm not too far away. And then I went up to Winona State for um, athletic training. So I got my undergrad in athletic training, came back here, went to University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee for graduate school, and got my master's in kinesiology. And during my master's, I was working as a PRN for Ascension, helping out with coverages in the high school, um, other events that we are contracted out to. And as I was finishing up, my boss is like, hey, we have this new team coming in. Would you like to become full-time? And at first I was like, oh, I got to hear more about it before I commit. And then he said it was a professional baseball team. And I was like, yep, I'm sold. Mm -hmm. I love baseball, grew up loving baseball. Sign me up. So then that's how I, how I started with the Milwaukee Milkmen. So, so what is a typical day like for you? So I'm usually here doing treatment on athletes before they have to go out on the field for batting practice or throwing or stretching. We're doing rehab work to maintain their physical fitness and try to prevent as many injuries as we can, especially with pitchers. And then um, we'll get game ready. We go down to the game. We're there for probably like three hours, depending on how long the game lasts. And then usually an hour after the game, doing treatments again, or if any injuries happen, we'll do an evaluation on them, um, kind of closing down everything for the day. So pretty busy. Yeah, yeah. definitely. What about what about the off season? So in the off season, I mean, it's been a little bit different this year because obviously of COVID. But normally I am an assistant athletic trainer for the Milwaukee Wave, and then I'll also help out with Milwaukee public school events, so some of their basketball games, soccer games. Um, and then I'll help out with some of the other high schools around the area. But now that this clinic is opening up, I'll transfer over there and help some of the physicians over there. Mm -hmm. What are some tips that you have for the active adult, not necessarily a pro, to kind yeah. of stay in shape and, and keep things um, active and positive and moving forward? Yeah, you just have to become creative. I had to do that personally myself with just working out and staying fit and staying active was just start doing things out of the normal. Go outside and do something that you don't normally do because the gyms are closed. Um, just trying to find as many different ways that you can in order to stay active. Even if it's just going for a walk or going and um, getting together with friends and going and playing like beach volleyball or spike ball or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, finding things around the house that you can use as weightlifting tools to kind of you know, keep yourself physically fit. That There are tons of different things out there that you can do. It, endless possibilities. Going for a walk, going to the beach and playing spike ball, um, going and snowboarding and skiing during the winter, ice skating, um, so many different options out there that you can do, but you just have to be creative and be like, okay, what are some things that I enjoy doing? Now let's all put it together and figure out what that is. I was wondering uh, if the milkmen have had to get particularly creative, you know, as games and training sessions are canceled due to COVID. Um, they'll bring frisbees and play like um, frisbee with each other. Uh, some of them were getting into swimming, some of them were doing like yard work more. Um, a lot of them would just go to a local park and just play catch. Uh, they just try to do everything and anything they could do. Some got into biking more just to stay active so by the time they got here they weren't out of shape and they could just jump right into it because Last year, we really didn't have a preseason. It was like, a, hey, you have to be here in a week, and we're going to start two days later. And you're like, oh, okay. So a lot of them just had to be creative that way. I know some of them that were throwing against a brick wall because they didn't have a throwing partner, and they're like, well, I have to throw. Or mm -hmm. they were hitting into a fence outside because that's all they really had. Wow. So it's very interesting. Um, and we were all kind of there with them in yeah, some ways, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So kind of along the same lines, but not COVID related, but you know, it doesn't feel like it now, but summer is not that far away. What are some uh, tips that you can give to high school athletes so that they can maintain their training and do what they need to do and then go into the school year strong in the fall? Yeah, great question. So the biggest thing is it's okay to take breaks. Breaks are healthy. Breaks are important. 
especially after you went a whole school year playing sports, probably the entire time, taking a little bit of break and enjoying the summer is not only good physically, mentally, and emotionally. So yes, please take breaks. I highly support it. But you also need to be like, okay, I took that break. Now I got to get back into the groove of things. So again, you don't have to go in and focus strictly on your sport. You can go and do something fun. I mean, go to the local park and just go play, pick up soccer, pick up basketball, pick up whatever you want to play. It's going to be tough and it's going to be different because some schools still aren't allowing sports. Some can't have as many practices that I've had in the past, but it's they're going to have to learn how to motivate themselves and realize like, okay, I have to do something in order to be ready for the next season. Mm -hmm. Do you have advice for people in terms of recovering from an injury, even just for an active adult that perhaps, you know, just sort of lifted something wrong or had yeah. something even a little bit more minor? What would yeah. you recommend for people? You do need to give off some time for your body to heal. You can't just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it because it's going to get worse. So it is important if you do hurt yourself, even if it's just, I pulled my back muscle because I did a lift wrong. It's okay to take a few days off. Or instead of working back muscles, maybe you do arms, maybe you do just legs, like work a different body system so your back can heal. That's the biggest thing. A lot of people are like, oh no, like I'll be fine. I'll keep going. Well, I'll be fine. And then it gets worse. And then by the time you catch it, it's too far gone and you've already caused a lot of damage. Um, but then for the more serious injuries, let's just say you were snowboarding and you broke your ankle, you basically have to start from ground zero and work your way back up. And the process can be long, it can be slow, and you see your teammates out there playing, you're just like, oh, I just want to be back out there. But you just have to stay motivated and set short-term and long-term goals and just keep reminding yourself like, hey, if I keep doing this and I keep sticking with rehab, I will get back there and I'll be possibly better than I was before my injury. What do you see for this year? What are you looking forward to in 2021? <sighs> Honestly, just sports to start up again and having fans and just having that environment that athletics brings. Um, I'm super excited to be able to do athletic training things again, um, just because COVID, we haven't been able to do that much anymore. Um, I'm hoping that the Milkman can bring in another championship for us and then the wave to follow. Um, but then just seeing people enjoy being around sports again, like having fun, doing active things, coming together to cheer on a team, and then just getting back into some sort of normal. Even if it's not the normal we used to know, just a new normal. I think we're all with you there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Allison. Yeah, I think this you. has been extremely insightful, and we really thank appreciate you. your your insight and all of your great uh, suggestions and tips for our viewers. Yeah. And thanks so much for joining us here at Ballpark Commons. Thanks for having me.